together because we believe and we are convinced that one of God's given purposes of our life is to be agents of change and equality and justice in transformation. And democracy does not look like a blank check that is written by the Koch brothers, but is written by the Yankee Institute or their foundation, because our democracy cannot be for sale. And if we do this now, the generation that comes, like my brothers, will be able to live, you know, so actually survive. Connecticut cannot have the illustrious future it dreams of without pre-K to college educational access. From poverty to education to employment to mental health, substance abuse issues. Um, and so we hope that CT can continue being at the front of progressive criminal justice reform this session. In this budget, they value wealthy in corporations instead of those who teach our children, care for our sick, help people transition from prison, and all those that work in our state buildings every day. I want to make a real point that we're up to 1,200 people strong on a stormy, snowy night. We're here to say no. no. We are not Wisconsin. We will not let our state get dragged down in a race to the bottom. The very wealthy pay about half in state and local taxes as the middle class does. Why is it that they cannot pay their fair share to protect, protect Connecticut's future and vital services which our people and our economy depend upon? We need teachers. We need books. We need the money the governor took. We need teachers. We need books. We need the money the governor took. And we should make sure that all of this happens in this, the wealthiest state in the country, that the gap between the richest 1% and the rest of us stops growing. Every budget is a living moral text bearing witness to the best and are the worst of us. Budgets have blood, gold, and poison in them. This is our 